First place we'll head a week into the new year, CES. Pat, give me a couple things you're going to be uh, eyeing at this year's event. Yeah, first of all, it's going to be AI, 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 AI. Uh, a lot of it's going to be real. <laughs> Some of it will be just completely made up. And, you know, I use your word architecture. Uh, it's going to be marketing. But the real deal, the AI PC, right, you're going to see a lot of people talking about that and the continuum of it where we're going to be in January, where we're going to be in the middle of the year, and where we're going to be at the end of it. Everybody wants to own it. All the PC chip makers, all the PC brands, uh, we, we will see. And we'll probably see some AI smartphone action. Although NWC is the big show for that, uh, I think you're going to see people talking about how uh, they will uh, create a super cycle uh, either in the middle of the year or, or toward the end of the year with these new capabilities, right? We saw Google come in with their new micro models, uh, which is cool. Um, and we've seen, you know, Qualcomm galore uh, and what they, they're they doing with, God, I think it's 10 different models that you can run uh, on a Snapdragon based uh, smartphone. Uh, we're gonna see AI smartphone, smart home stuff for those people who still care about the smart home. Um, we're gonna see a lot of what CES has turned into, which has been partially an automotive show, right? We're going to see safer cars. Uh, we're going to see AI infused into two wheelers like bikes uh, and motorcycles. And just to close this out, since we've seen since 1967, when the first CES came to New York City, bigger, better, cheaper TVs and more immersive audio. Yeah, so do you mention AI? I think we're going to have to hear some things about AI. You know, I'm going to be really interested in looking for some innovation across digital health. You know, we talked about the uh, wearable and the watch pad. I've seen so much exciting uh, and encouraging innovation of the kind of tech and insights that we can have on our own health and well being. People can be optimized humanoids, and I think the AI com combined with sensors and wearables, um, readouts, and then complementing that to LLMs and medical models could really start to help us get better insights in really simple human language that can help us optimize our lives and optimize our health. Our health, Pat, you've put a lot of attention into that over the last year and have made some really, really great, great strides. I think we start to democratize that and bring that to the masses. The other um, area that I, you know, that I think is going to be really big this year is just going to be all the AI PC range. You know, Pat, we started talking about this, but AI PCs, AI devices, all the stuff we're going to be able to do on our device with AI. You know, 2023 was really about AI in the cloud. And, you know, we've heard little overtures about AI on the device, but it's the MPUs, these new, um, you know, the, the, the new abstractions of processing that can be done for AI dedicated workloads with LLMs on our phones, on our PCs, on our tablets. This stuff's going to get hot. Pat, Signal 65 is going to be all over that this year. We're going to be testing this stuff. We're going to be testing. We're going to be telling which OEMs, which silicon is going to be delivering the best and brightest AI capabilities. So we're going to be looking for the claims, looking for the progress, looking for the new uh, formats and designs that are going to be launched at CES. And this is going to be not just something we're going to talk about in January, but something we're going to talk about all year. Yeah, man, I got to tell you, I don't even know, yeah, man, I only know it's a certain set of benchmarks. Yeah, we're going to create them. Or we're not create them, you know, and of course, next generation electrification, ADAS, smart cars, safe cars, that'll be a thing. But that's been a thing for like three or four years. That's not changing yet. It's going to get better. It's going to get bigger. It's going to get more interesting. It's going to be another huge show. It's going to take a week to cover one tenth of it, but we'll be there. We'll be paying attention. And of course, the most important thing that's happening at this year's CES is the inaugural launch of the 6.5 Live. So look for that there. More to come on that.